Hi, it's Renee with Benchmark, and what I want to show you today in this video from foggy Nova Scotia is how to install a Hemisphere Compass GPS antenna. What we're going to be doing today is installing this antenna on a 2425 Kingfisher, and we're going to be interfacing this antenna with a Lawrence navigational plotter. Now this antenna is once installed will give you 1.5 of a degree accuracy for heading and it'll also give you positional accuracy with was corrections of 0.3 of a meter so very accurate antenna very inexpensive um, great for pleasure users yachts uh, that type of thing excellent product especially if you're working in foggy weather and when you're relying on a plotter that uses dead reckoning this will solve your problem and give you direction instead. All right, so I got my vector compass antenna orientated with the axis of the boat. So you can, you can orientate these antennas um, parallel to the center line profile of the boat, or you can put them perpendicular and then put in uh, a 90 degree offset if you want to. But I like to, this one is an easy installation for this boat. I'm gonna put it straight down the middle and then I won't have to do any changes whatsoever to the antenna. This is a template and I'm going to drill the four holes in the template on top of the boat. All right, the next step would be to connect the NEMA 2000 antenna cable right to the Vector uh, 200N uh, antenna. And you'll notice that the, this cable comes standard on Amazon if you order it on Amazon and it, with almost two inches uh, of length with the over molding to the connector. Uh, if you want to fit it on the on the tall bracket, you need to probably order on Amazon a right angle Anima 2000 a connector, and that'll fit it in. Uh, but I didn't have I couldn't have that option. I had to come up a different locate a different part of the roof to connect the antenna. So I created an offset here of plastic that we bolted right down to the top of the unit, and that works fine. And then this antenna can just snap in, no problem. Just like that. So here's an example of my Anima 2000 network. This is the backbone. So on this backbone, I put together uh, four connectors, termination on the ends, and four connectors together. And the beauty of these networks is you can feed in as many different uh, devices and connections as you want, and you can extend the length of them by. Um, opening up a connection, putting a cable in between. Um, so on my backbone, the first cable is gonna to connect to the V200N compass antenna on the roof of the vessel. And the second uh, cable is, is gonna to connect to power. So on power, I wanna show you that the, the cables come unterminated and you can connect, a, I'm gonna connect a tab connector on the on the the red cable the power and I'm going to connect it to one of the switches so that I can turn off the V200 antenna when I and when it's not being used so I don't drain the battery uh, when the boat when the vessel sitting at the dock uh, the black cable you just connect it to any ground and then so my third connector and my fourth connector are going to go to plotter number one and my third my fourth one will go to plotter number two so I'll run cabling to each one of those so that I can see my direction in any, uh, from each plotter. All right, now that we have all of our cabling connection, we have our backbone connected, the next step is to have the antenna being recognized by the plotter. So what you have to do here is hit the menu button, then you hit the settings button, and then once you've done that, you go right into networks, and you hit data source and you have to connect to the GPS to tell it to take over to the hemisphere uh, vector antenna for GPS and also for heading. So you go into two locations. First one is GPS and then you can see the hemisphere is there. I have it already pre-selected for auto. And if I go down to vessel, I have it turned on for all of the different switch for all of the different uh, um, components on heading. So if you see, I have hemisphere connected. You just go into each one and that's what you do. All you gotta do that and then you hit close and you're already connected. 
That's it. Now your network's ready to go and you're ready to go and navigate. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. I have the Vector 200N Vector antenna on the roof of the vessel and I want to show you I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's completely foggy. I don't have to worry about figuring out how to get back home to, to shore safely because I got the vector fully integrated into the Lawrence navigation system. I'm going to show you how foggy it is here. I can't see land in any direction, but if you look on the navigation system, I can zoom in and I want to go in to shore. All I got to do is tell it, give me a vector, I'm coming home. So I want to go this way, I put it in gear, line up my compass heading the blue with the red line and I'm fully navigating and following the right direction to get home. That's it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. It was fun. Thanks and we'll talk soon.